Welcome to episode 5 of our Snap series where we will be making our program learn from inputs such as player names and greet players accordingly. So first, what you want to do is you want to load up the program provided through the bjc.edc.org website. Link in the description, which is right here. Basically, you just click, click here to load, save to your Snap account. And here you go, you have a fresh program to start with. So, after that, we now need to make an algorithm to have the sprite to ask for the user's name. So, right before we, before we do all that, I like to, in the very beginning, I like to provide my sprites and my stage with some costumes. Which is pretty easy, we've done it in the user interface tutorial. Basically, we go here, on the piece of paper and we click costumes and now we have a large selection of costumes to go through let's just pick a random costume let's pick donut okay donut will be the costume and for the stage we shall do the same thing let's say donut in a desert why not now we got a nice donut in the desert. So now, since we got our sprites and our stage changed, we should start programming, like actually coding. So first we need to set up a basic script that verifies if the player's name is in the list. This player list right here. That way we don't get any duplicate names. So before we start, I suggest try to think of a script as a more complicated sentence. Just like a sentence that you're telling the computer what to do. Just in case you get lost. It works for me when you have a lot of code and you're trying to break it down piece by piece. So first what we need to do is the sprite asks what's your name and wait. Okay? If we click on this block it will say what's your name and it will wait until we write in whatever our name is. So what we should do first is we should get drag this block out. So basically when the flag is clicked, the program starts. These two pieces should be combined because this is how we start assembling our program. If we combine these two pieces right here, we get the very structure, the foundation of our program. Now, in the very beginning, it's easier to check to see if the username is in the list already so we should put player list contains answer basically this is a true or false statement we'll go over this more later in depth in future videos but we put this here if the player list contains answers we say nice to see you again basically if the player list contains the name the program will say it's nice to see you again name Otherwise, else, it will say, it will add the answer to the player list, and then it will say, hi, answer, ni nice, hi, name, nice to meet you. So, what we shall do now is test it, because you always have to test and debug in case there are any problems. So, we click to start. It will ask, what's your name? Let's say my name is Bob. Hi, Bob, nice to meet you. Now, let's start it again. What's your name? Let's say Bob. Nice to see you again, Bob. So our program is working nice and smoothly because first time we entered in Bob, it put it into the playlist. Second time we entered in Bob, it said nice to see you again. That concludes episode five of our Snap tutorial series and the second lab for unit one. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will begin lab three modern art with polygons where we will be exploring motion and snap